Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena, and today we're comparing the heart rate sensor on the back of the Samsung Galaxy S5 versus uh, a random heart rate measuring app that you can find uh, a lot of in the Play Store. Samsung went bonkers on biometrics with the Galaxy S5, equipping it with uh, a finger scanner in the home key and also a heart rate sensor on the back. This uh, optical pulse meter is uh, situated next to the LED flash on the back and it's uh, very ergonomic to use as it requires just a simple stretch of your index finger. The S Health app widget on the home screen of the Galaxy S5 has a dedicated circular launch key for the heart rate sensor now and taking your pulse usually requires less than 10 seconds. After you've placed your finger over the sensor, it lights up in red. Sixty-five beats per minute, and let's do the same thing with uh, the first app that popped up when we wrote heart rate in the Play Store. It uses uh, the optics of your rear camera. You just place your finger over the lens, so it's still an optical pulse reading. It will take a while. Then it takes uh, 10, 10 seconds to measure. Sixty-five, as you can see, we got the exact same measure that we have on the Samsung Galaxy S5. The margin of error between the two methods is uh, thus rather insignificant to warrant the inclusion of a dedicated heart rate sensor on the phone. Of course, it uh, looks and sounds cool and has that wow factor for bragging in front of friends uh, or relatives, but in reality you can do a similar job with a free app on any Android device. The only advantage is that uh, Samsung's heart rate sensor is uh, faster as long as you sit still and uh, of course doesn't throw ads at you. This was uh, a quick comparison between the heart rate sensor of the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the same operation with uh, a random app on the Play Store. For more information about Samsung's Galaxy S5, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.